Hello YouTubers, this is White Ninja Art here, um, bringing to you Diablo 3. Now, for people who actually, who have watched some of my videos, uh, I did a lot of Diablo 2 videos. Um, through through this uh, through this video, I'll sort of describe the different characters that you've got and the similarities and the not so similar things, and the things I like and dislike about this game, and compare it to the older type version. Uh, now we have played this game quite a lot already, uh, just to, not really to just get into it, but just to sort of understand how it works and things like that. <clears throat> so you basically, I think you have uh, six, no I'm sorry, I'll show you. There you go, you have uh, five classes. Okay, so uh, we'll start from the top, the Barbarian. So each, <coughs> each class, you uh, it tells you the sort of set skills they have on the right hand side here. And the type and the type of attributes they've got. Um, you can also pick a male and female character. Now I thought this was quite a good feature. On the on Diablo 2, they never had this type of thing, um, so it's actually quite good that they brought this in. It, to attributes and stats, as far as I'm aware, it doesn't make any difference at all. So I wouldn't worry about that. Uh, it just depends. I, I suppose it just depends what who you prefer to look like. For instance, the male looks better in that one. Whereas the female will maybe look better in that one, and so on, so on. So anyway, right. So the barbarian uh, in number two, they had the barbarian exactly the same. So there's not really much to talk about if you've played the second one, and then you'll understand the concept behind behind the barbarian. Next, you got the demon hunter, which was uh, the Amazon, I believe, in number two. Uh, so it's just actually the same sort of concept. <coughs> you can have uh, specialists. Uh, sort of sh shooting or you can have rapid skills and stuff like that uh, for those who have played the second one you'll un it, it's pretty much the same concept of how the, how the demon hunter works as the Amazon uh, here's a new class which is s pretty much different to most of them the, probably the one I could uh, bring out to be the most is the oh, what is it the assassin this is probably what it the most looks like so this character is more like the assassin. You, you basically are a melee fighter, but you are also like the paladin, where you heal and use defense skills. So that's the sort of concept of how this works. Uh, you then have the witch doctor, which is like this, which is sort of the necromancer. It's the summoning, uh, summoning person out of the five. Um, I've not actually played as the witch doctor yet. Uh, that's my next, probably one of my next class I have to play as. Um, but they, look, they do actually look quite fun. Uh, I've seen other people playing them and some of the things that they come out with are pretty good. Excuse me. And then you also have the wizard, uh, which is obviously the sorcerer or sorceress uh, concept. They're actually quite good. I've got, I have got a sorcerer. I have got a sorceress. And basically they use just different types of magic. Uh, just, just like they do in the second one. You also have the hardcore mode, as you can read there. If if, that, if you die in hardcore mode, it's game over, and you won't be able to play again. So, unless you're an extreme gamer and you, and that's the thing that you enjoy, and then that's for you. But for me, I'll just uh, I just go with it. So what I'll do, I'll actually start a new character um, for the for the actual fact that I've I've got a, a demon hunter, a monk, and a wizard. So I'll go for a witch doctor and see if I can get. I don't know if I'll be able to get this. I don't know if I've got it as another character or not. Yep, super. So, there you go. There's my uh, Witch Doctor. <coughs> totally bare and looks really horrible. Mm. Right, anyway. Uh, the other thing you have in this, which I thought was quite good, is you can get some uh, banners. Uh, which I'll show you now. Uh, basically, you can change the shape, the colours and stuff like that. So... Uh, for instance, so there you go. Look, for instance, some some of them you have uh, unlocked. So like this one, for etc. Uh, the way that you do that is by doing different achievements for different characters and doing different things. So yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess around playing with this because I could be here all day trying to pick some of these out. Right, anyway, so that's that's that. Uh, what else have we got? Okay, so here's here's your online system. 
Uh, this is how you chat to people. Um, there we are. Look, these are people I got online, which I don't use that often. Here's some of my friend, well, some of my offline friends and people I've played with before. In this, you also have a something called the auction house, which is this on the bottom left here. Now, basically, you can buy. You can use. You can use in-game money, or you can use real money to buy equipment and items. Um, as you do this, and then you look through, and you can, I don't know, range 10 to range, I don't know, 20, and then search. And it comes up with anything that you can buy. So, for instance, the maximum level you can get on any character at the minute is uh, 60. So if I change that to 60. Search. There we are, look, see, some people sell them for like 100 million, which is ex extortionate amount of money, but or gold should I say. Obviously you change it to real money. Do the same again. Look, there you are, look, thirteen pounds, twenty pounds, twenty five pounds, you know what I mean? Eighty pounds. So some people actually make a living through this. Well, it would surprise me anyway. But it depends if that's the thing you're into. Right, so I'll close that. Um this is your public games here, so like on Diablo two we could search for games, the same sort of thing. So um Plays on this quest is one allowed one to six. Okay, so it's basically it, and then you just click join game. For this, oh, there you go, in games, what, just over a thousand. So, uh, in a minute, I'm not going to join anyone's game, I'm just going to start my own. So, I'll start a brand new game. Should come up with a little sequence at the beginning, I'll let it run through, and you can watch it. I'll be quiet. I wander to places beyond imagining. Ah, right, there we are. So yeah, so each each person has their own little um, little sequence at the beginning. I've not, I've not actually watched them all because I, I watched the first one and well, you sort of get the concept of each one. So you have the same sort of layout as uh, Diablo 2 where you have your uh, space where you can hold your items and the slot torso head sort of thing. So it's all sort of the same sort of style. Now you have the money here. Obviously you can see I've got not a lot of money, but I've got enough. Uh, basically, for each character, your money is shared, so you don't actually have to find money. So I could go and buy items now to equip onto this character. I would say not to do that because at the beginning it is fairly easy, um, and you can sort of get through it just by finding what you, finding items. So these are details. So these are all your. I don't know what do you call it. The more personal information. So. Damage should increase by intelligence, so as you read, if you hover over them, it tells you what each one does. So there you are, for example. <coughs> okay, so obviously this is on normal. Uh, so I'm just going to start. Oh, sorry, I'll, I'll, sorry, I'll look on the skill screen. So this is skill screen. Sorry, yeah, this is set up a lot different to compared to what number two was. And to be honest, I don't like it the way it's done because you can only equip six action skills. So basically, your you left your left button, your right button, and then you get four action slots, which are these here. <coughs> but then you get passive skills as well. I don't think we can click on these until another ten. No, I can't. Right, okay. So basically, you get your poison darts. So these are all <coughs> these are all the um, moves you get. 
So you get poison darts, and you get caught, you know, each one as you go through. But obviously you got to wait till each level to unlock them. Now, with this, you don't get runes as such that you put into weapons and items and stuff like that. What happens is, at level 6, you unlock runes, which is sort of like... It's, it seems like it makes it very limited on how you can have all your stuff. Where, so, if I... Uh, have say poison dart and get level six. I unlock the room for it. I don't know what it is yet because I've obviously not played this character, but that means you can only have that rune. So once you get to level sixty, which is the max level, you'll have unlocked to all runes. But everyone seems to have the same, <laughs> same sort of style character because that's the one that works the best. So whereas in the last one you'd have rune words on characters like Enigma or Chains of Honor and stuff like that, where you could change your character a little bit. And it'll make your character different. On this, it sort of makes it more the same than anything, which is a bit annoying. Oh, that's quite good. It's a poison dart. Huh, brilliant. Yeah, that's great. Alright, so, obviously this is just the first bit, just to get into the game, so I'll just quickly run through this. Spirits tell me. They keep coming. They keep coming. <laughs> More legs. Okay, so like I said before, there's um, there's four difficulties on this. There's normal, nightmare, and hell, which you got in the last two, and there's a one called inferno mode. Now this is just unreal. It's for some reason from normal to well, at the end of Nightmare, it's quite simple. As long as you upgrade your gear as you play through the game, it's quite easy. But as soon as you... Oh, where's my weapon gone? Yeah, as soon as you level up... No, sorry, as soon as you go to Hell and start going to Inferno, it all of a sudden gets really, really hard. Um, it's just... If you don't... If you've not managed to keep up with the gear that you get, a lot of people tend to... Uh, start buying things off the auction house and stuff like that and it just seems more pointless to me than anything oh look I've got a new active skill I'll put that in a minute uh, yeah, let's get some more experience um, for you for you guys who not played this if you nip in here there's not a lot in here apart from this book here which gives you a little bit of experience it's only 120 but a little, little helps okay so I've leveled up so I'm gonna use my skills so if you press S you can choose your skill uh, and I got Grasp of the Dead, so summons ghoulish hands from the ground that slow and entangles enemies. Yeah, why not? I've not got any other skills I can use. As oh, they're the only two skills I've got at the minute. So that's oh, look at that, lovely. Huh, brilliant. All right, so for the missions, you just follow these yellow arrows just here, which is simple enough. Oh look, here's the shop. So here we go. Look, so I could buy, I could buy that and instantly just get a lot stronger. There you go, I will buy it. Shot it. There you go. And there we go. Just to help me out a little bit at the beginning. I don't really need it. it should it should be easy enough anyway. So. Yeah, so in this, the How can I help the barricade. weapons are, are slightly set out differently. I'll, I'll show you in, a, in one second. Needs more time. Does that damage him all the time? It does. That's quite good. Right. Okay. So, in in the last uh, in the last Diablo, where you do say, I don't know lightning damage at like 40,000, 50,000 and this is quite different the way it works is the damage here is here so I do like 7.3 uh, and stuff like that so you have stuff like your attacks per second critical hit and stuff like that so you, you instead of trying to just get massive damage you're looking at doing stuff like critical hit chance and more damage per critical hit and things like that um, when you get a bit further on you need more armor you need better dodge which is there, dodge chance of 0.9%, and then you have stuff like um, 
life per life per hit, life per kill, life steal, etc., etc. So all these things do come in handy when you get further on in the game. So it is set out quite a lot different to the second one, but also in the same sort of way. So for instance, mana here. The witch, the witch touch is the only one who has mana. You have like arcane for the wizard. I think it's berserk maybe for the barbarian. Hatred and discipline for the demon hunter and what else monk uh, monk spirit so each one has a different sort of category um, for certain ones some of them just replenish on their own some of them you have to kill enemies to do it so I'll just kill a few of these well, yeah I don't even think I'll be able to use it fast yeah so this one just replenishes on its own dead quick nice and easy so as you can see your quest is on the right hand side where it says objectives so it's not exactly difficult to um, to get lost of what you got to do. It's pretty pretty straightforward. Whereas on the second one, you could teleport to anywhere uh, within the you know, within the five worlds. On this, you can't. You're sort of very limited to sort of how you go about what you want to do. I'll, I'll show you that after. I'll change my character and um, I'll show you how that works. I'll show you all the different concepts of each one. Let's see, we're going here. Yep. So as you can see at the beginning, like like on the second one, dead easy to level up. Dead, you know, dead simple. I I have a feeling that they'll put at the minute they've capped the level at 60. I'm sure they'll they'll level that up to probably 99 like they did on the second one, because. 60 is not very high level, I suppose. I hope, hopefully, they'll make a lot more out of a lot of add-ons to this game because it is quite straightforward. Once you've completed it with one character, it's like complete. You basically complete with all the characters. I've not actually managed to get a character yet who can complete on Inferno because it's just ridiculous how hard it is. Um, I will, I will show you, and I'll probably die a few times, but I'm not bothered. I'll show you anyway. Actually, that's the point. Dying system. When you die on this, you don't. The only thing you lose on this is durability, which is, I think, a brilliant idea what they've come up with. So instead of you losing money and losing experience, instead you just lose durability. But if you have good items, then it costs you a lot more money to repair. So I think that's maybe the way they got around losing your money. But you don't lose any experience, which I think is probably one of the best things that have, is on this game because. When you'd play on Diablo 2, you're like level 90, and you died, it's like hours wasted. So, it's probably one of the better things to do. Oh, no. Kill this one, and it's level 3. Level 3, so new skill to get. Um, corpse Spider. Alright, oh, okay. Yeah, we'll give that a go. Okay, yeah, so when you change uh, skills as well, you've got a, a cooldown time. So, basically, this is so you can't. Some some of them have really long cooldown time. Let's see, uh, let's see if any of these show you. I don't think it will. No, it won't show me yet. But some of them have like 30 second cooldown time. So you basically can't click on them and just change them and change them to a different one. Um, so let's see what this does. Oh, huh, brilliant! <laughs> Mini spiders. Oh, shame there isn't more of them. Oh, there is. Oh, it's mint. So I'm supposed to draw that tech nearby before. Oh, that's awesome. All right, let's go and see if we really try this. Oh, loads of them. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Cool. And that's just a basic attack, so that's. I don't know, it costs two mana, but. By the time you've used it, it's pretty much replenished itself anyway. That's great. Quite like that, actually. Imagine when you level up a bit, they can be quite good. Yeah, have some of that. So as you can t as you can tell, this is a bit like the Necromancer, um, but it's a bit more thought how 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 the summoning instead of raising them out the ground. Yeah, you know, jar. That's not bad. Pretty good. Mm, some cloth pants. I think I've already got some. 
Oh yeah, some more damage. This is why I say you don't really buy, you don't need to buy anything because you can just. Pick